So I'm just about to demonstrate this Thetford oven in this Coachman Acadia Platinum. Uh, always obviously have to have the lid raised when it's going to be in use and if it has been in use for a period of time please allow any heat to disperse from the area before you lower the lid down. Uh, so that's the first thing. Do not shut the lid when burners are alight. Just say it in French as well I understand. So uh, I'm not going to practice that bit for you. Okay so we've got one electric ring and we've got three gas rings on the hob. So uh, this one is operated off mains, obviously. It doesn't work off anything else but 230 volt mains. You can go straight to number six, or you could go to number one. Uh, and if that doesn't operate for some reason, just check the plug and socket arrangement that is located underneath the oven. It's inside this locker here. There's a uh, plug and socket arrangement. So if that doesn't work, just check that socket. It could be uh, the plug is uh, protruding out the socket for some reason. Then we're over to the gas rings. We've got... Uh, a different variety of sizes as you can see uh, basically this valve here is going to be for this ring here so turn it from the vertical position anti-clockwise to the nine o'clock road position press that in press the ignition away she goes the ignition is 12 volt generated uh, keep it pressed depressed in for a few seconds release and then rotate it to the desired temperature that you want okay so that's going to be that small one this one then is for the larger one so you have to press it in slightly to get the valve to rotate. You can't just rotate it. Press it in. Turn it to the 9 o'clock position anti-clockwise. Press the ignition. Hold it in for a few seconds. Release. And as you can see, that burner is working fine. Same then goes on to this particular valve. It is going to be for the remaining gas ring. Very simple operation on those three there. As we load the grill down, the grill access door... We've obviously going to now have the grill pan. And on the grill pan, we have a handle. It's detachable. Comes in roughly at a 45 degree angle and comes off in exactly the same way. And that's just made so that you can wash it easier, but also in transit that you haven't got anything protruding forward. So it's a removable handle. And that's just basically the books that you see on this particular appliance, with just uh, user manuals. So when we come to operate the grill, we're coming to this particular valve. It's got the little zigzag at the top on that square, as you can see, where the one below to the right hand side, the zigzags are below the line. There you go. Press it in, press the ignition. The way that ignition goes on the grill, uh, once this is set on high again, just keep it pressed in for a few more seconds and release. That's on and there's low and high. The reason for keeping the valve depressed is you've got flame failure device, FFDs flame failure device, they're thermocouples, they sense the heat uh, being generated within the, that part of the appliance and it keeps the gas valve open. So the reason why you have to keep it depressed for a period of time is to heat the FFD up. Uh, and that's on all, the, uh, on all the valves themselves. This is the access to the oven. Come to the uh, valve again, rotate it anti-clockwise right round to its maximum setting, which is 260 degrees. Press the valve in, hold it, Press the ignition, release, and then keep the uh, gas valve depressed for a few seconds and then release again. Check, make sure the flame's on, and that is simple operation of that. As you rotate the valve, the lowest temperature you've got is 120, so you've got variance from 120 to 260. Uh, basically, the oven door has to be closed, the heat to build up into that oven for it to vary the temperature. And the off position is there. Very simple use on that.